there wouldn't be a middle class if we didn't have unions. I mean, the old definition of middle class was people that own small business. Workers were not in the middle class. That's a recent phenomenon in our society. You have to come through the Second World War before you have workers, basically, that are in the middle class. And that's because we had unions. That's, that's the reason. Because nobody gives us anything. You have to fight for everything. And without unions and without a lot of people in unions, we're very weak politically. And so we get stuff like NAFTA shoved down our throat. And all the, all the impact of that, we're all feel, feeling that. We feel that every day. But that's just one thing. Another thing is, what's taught in the schools? We don't have strong unions. Union history isn't taught in the schools, right? And without history, where are you? You're lost. If you don't really know all the battles, about the battles that our grandparents and great-grandparents fought, then we don't get anything to get strength from. I mean, imagine if you had a church, imagine a church without a Bible. How long would that church last? Why? What does the Bible do? It's just a book, right? But it's the stories in the book that explain to you the difference between, in generations, the difference between right and wrong. And that's where you get strength from. That's where you get your ethics from, right? It's those stories. And that's true of unions, too. That's why that's important. Right? You look at that and you recognize somebody on there that you knew. And that tells you something about them and it tells you something about you. And that's why it's important. Same with all these charters. They're just pieces of paper on the wall. But in fact, they're written in blood. Because a lot of people died for them in these unions. And those stories have been lost. But once in a while, you get somebody that knows those stories. And if you can then get them to talk about them, then there's a big change that takes place. And that's another reason why we need union members. So we need a strong working class, and if we don't have that, then we're all going back to be <coughs> ancient servants and slaves.